Good morning. Second attempt. Let's hope we're okay to now. Um, it's Janice Thompson here from jazzledazzlecraft.co.uk here this morning for Cuppa and Cards, which is basically simple card making. I've nothing planned. Well, I've decided what I'm going to use, but nothing majorly planned. So let's see if we can get. See if we can get, yeah, here we go. If I can take my volume off first. Hello, hi Steph, hi Rails, hi Shirley. I'm ha I, I thought I'd put it off and then it comes back on. Right, okay, no volume on my laptop and I can see your comments. Hi Denise, good morning. So, this morning is cup and cards, we'd like to keep it simple. So, good to use sweet. A in symmetry stamp set. Now I do have this punch, but it's hiding. I can't find it this morning. I'm just going to have one last look in one bag, but just that's not heavy enough. No. So I, I'm not going. I wasn't planning to use the punch, but I was planning to show you it. But it's too big, it's quite big and it doesn't fit properly on my shelf and I don't know where I have put it. Oh, I have got it. I've got it in my drawer. There you go. That's that's baked. Hi, Wendy. So how's everyone this morning? I slept late this morning, so I'm all on the back foot. So what I've done is... I'll let you have a look at this. So this this comes as a suite as well, where you can just use one order number to order the, the whole suite. So what's in the suite is the bundle, which is the punch and the stamp set. The designer series paper, which I've got some here to share with you. And the flirty flamingo gold metallic ribbon, which I don't have yet. So, um watch this space i will have that soon i'm sure but so pop the punch the punch is a border punch in fact you know what i will use it on a card just to get us started so just to let you see it as well i've not actually used it so we'll see what happens so we've got this amazing in symmetry set i really really like it we've got beautiful wee small stamps and then it's got some bigger stamps you can stamp two of these to get a whole flower that there's just loads you can do with it and I've got out a pack of our note cards to save a lot of chopping and what have you although we have to chop this um, and I've got the, some designer series paper I just had half a pack because I did a paper share with my customers and the way it all worked out I ended up with half a pack so which is just perfect for me so there we go so there are six different papers to so 12 different designs, two sheets of each. So yeah, these are lovely. I particularly like this. I'm a bit of a blue girl, but they're all nice. So yeah, so that's that and we will be using that. Now let's open our cards and envelopes and get moving. Hey Anne Harrod. Who else have we got? Oh yeah, well done Steph on the football win. I'm not a foot, not particularly interested in football. I don't watch it. Didn't even watch the Scotland games. I like to hear the national anthem and I like to know the score after. But well, you know, all credit where credit's due. Your boys pulled it for you. So, yep, great. 
So these note cards and envelopes are smaller than I would normally use for my card bases. Um, yeah, but they're already scored. I like them. They're sweet. They're a lovely size. So let's see what we can do with this first one and get ourselves moving. We'll stick with simple stamping. Oh, Carol, hiya too. Sorry. Kia ora. Hola. Hello. Good day. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever works for you, I'm sending you. So this is a border punch. And the idea when you're using it, this isn't probably the best piece of paper to show you on. The idea when you're using a border punch is to get your paper in. This will probably go quite far in, but we'll just go with it. Put your, put your paper right up to the edge here and do your first punch. So do that. I love the sound of our punches. And look, that takes out a wee pattern there. Now, to take the border further up, what you do is you pull this out until you can lay the pattern on top of the silver. Now, this will look probably a wee bit odd because it's going to go off the edge of this, but make sure your card is at right angles, butted against the edge, and punch. No, that's actually worked quite well. Look, it just fits. So let's hope we can do the same here. We'll line it up so it's butted nice and firmly here, and it's just it's over covering the silver motif, and that way you know that it's going to go where it should. Hold it. There you go. Now you've got these little bits that you can use on a card. Oh, hi, Heather. So what I'm thinking here is we'll do a bit of stamping here and we'll pop a bit of designer series paper in here. And then we'll have a very simple card. Do you know where my bone folder is, Steph? You need to come and sort me out. You've been neglecting me. Didn't even give a, a clean sheet this morning, but we'll, we'll be all right. We'll be okay. So let's stamp. I don't even know what colours I'm going to use. So if I'm going to use some designer series paper, and I think I'm just, because my favourite's colour's blue, let's just simply start with this blue. And that will be our misty moonlight. Um, yep. No, it's not. It's Night of Navy and this stamp set. Oh, that makes me happy. So let's get our Night of Navy out. And let's just stamp in Night of Navy. Let's be controversial. Let's stick some smaller stamps because we're in a smaller canvas. And a little stem and the little leaves. And we'll need a sentiment. Hey friend. Because this can be a nice notelet to write to a friend. Okay, so we're getting there. So we've got a block for that. We've got blocks all over the place. I kind of was stamping last night and then just went to bed and left the mess. That's that's how it rolls. So. Right, and we're just going to do it completely in Night of Navy. I know I do love a bit of Night of Navy. So we let's just cut our paper while we're faffing. So I'm just going to measure this in centimetres. So if I take a, a strip that's three centimetres wide, that will sit under here nicely. So our wonderful trimmer out and I have put a new blade in this yesterday so it should cut quite nicely. It'd be good if I had enough space on my desk to spread out a 12 by 12 sheet here though. 
We'll manage that. We'll ma Oops, see it slipped. Be careful. Right. I mean, normally you would be using up scraps for this type of thing, but. And then the measurement of the card is 12.7 in centimetres because it's it's really in inches so it's really five inches by it's really five inches by three and a half but I'm a bit of a centimetre girl but I suppose I could cut that up five inches it would be simpler hey mix and match your measurements as you please You got your cup, I've got my cuppa. Threw it together so quick, it's, a tea, it's just a tea bag in a cup. <laughs> I'm not a tea bag still in there. So there, see that will go down there. And that will show through there. And then we'll have our stamp in here, that's cool. It's got to be because I've done it now. <laughs> right, so these are photopolymer stamps. They don't have cushioning on the back, so a good idea when you stamp up. Oh, I'm knocking things over. Can't get it out of the room now. Okay. It's good idea to have a foam mat because then that just gives your stamp that bit more. Now, I'm going to have. Two flowers, I think. So I'm going to have one there. I really am making this up. And then one about here. Okay, so that fell off. So we'll start again with that. It's give it a wipe. Sorry, I'm doing the wiping off camera. I have a damp chamois at the side of me here. So let's get that. Yeah, I'm just going to try and make this down. Probably squint. Well, it's not bad. It's not bad. Right, we'll kind of put some leaves there and cover that up, will we? Yeah, we can. Now, I'm just going to. Because I don't really want that to overlap the flower, but I want it to go there. I could just put my leaves at a sort of jaunty angle. I'll just do it. Won't matter if it overlaps, will it? Leaves go in front of things, leaves go behind things. That's okay. And then I think we'll just we'll just do the hey friend at the bottom. that through there. And that wasn't very good was it? I knew that something was going to go wrong but do you know what we can overcome that by if this doesn't work yeah that didn't work so we can just get a piece of card and put our sentiment on over the top. I've got scraps. I should have a scrap of white. Honestly, I did that on purpose to show you how to fix it. Yeah, I do make it up. <laughs> it, I 
just kind of supporting my assertion that stamping up stamps are so good you don't need to know what you're doing all the time I'm just going to trim this down the whole idea of my cupping cards is I try not to use a whole lot of equipment I just use basic equipment that a beginner person might have take that one just take a wee bit off that So I'm not using I'm not using die cuts or anything like that. Just and just ink paper most of the time. Trimmer, trimmer is very basic equipment. So I'm dipping this in this thing now. I recently inked this pad up, and I think it's really super juicy. So I'm being a bit careful. I think. <laughs> Timmy's ornament. Okay, very good. So we made a mistake, so do you know what? That's what happens. I would say I'm a pretty experienced stamper and I make mistakes, so guaranteed beginners will too. So let's just fix it. Let's not throw everything out. I need to wipe my hands. Look at me. I'm just going to flick the back. These come off so easily. I just use my, don't have a lot of fingernails, but that works. So let's see if we can actually make a card today. Hey friend, that's okay. She won't know I made a mistake. She won't care anyway if I bother to, if I've got a friend who I bother to write to, they'll be happy enough at that. And glue. Do you know what? I'm going to start a new one. I've got three that are nearly at the end of life. So um, I don't feel I want to play with battle with them this morning. So let's open a nice new Tombow and hope for success. Yay. We are here to just pop that in keep it flowing the right direction pop the lid in so it don't lose it so pop in the bit of designer series paper that i cut just to the edge there and there you go simples a nice simple card and let's just have a look while we're on. Let's do something with the envelope. Seeing as I've not cleaned any of the stamps. So we'll just... I've lost my stamp set into the bargain. Gee. Yeah, we'll just use this one that we've got. And then we'll put it to be washed. Whoops. Is that not effective, just with that? I just pop one on the corner of the envelope there and maybe two on this corner. I want to have one on the back. There you go, a decorated envelope. I'm usually neglectful of my envelopes, but there you go. Hey, friend. And then you can just write a wee note to your friend in there. If you've not used all your friends up. 
Right, so that's card one. Let's pop it where we'll know where it is at the end. Let's just clean up a bit. Let's clean up our stamps. I've got an extremely wet chamois here. It shouldn't be that wet, but do you know what? It does the job. And let's. This time we'll pick a different piece of designer series paper and we'll choose the colours that are in that. I have seen some people do some amazing things with this stamp set. Um, so do have a look around on YouTube and places to get some fab ideas. I'm, st I'm sticking with simples. Right, stamps available again. Blocks are, well here's a block left from last night's team meeting and it's still got ink on it. Right, there we go. I'm going to have some more tea and we'll have another card. So, will we choose this time? I do you know, they're all so nice. Well, we'll go with this one. Let's try this one out. Okay, so this time I'm going to have the full card with some designer series paper at the back and then we'll get a piece of whisper white and we'll do a bit of stamping on it. What's that way you need to fold, Janice? Hi, Vicky. Hi. Thank you, Renee. Thank you, Shirley. Oh, you go and get walking. I'll be walking later. Right. So I like that this has got um, basic white background as well, so it does make it easy. I'm looking at the wee flowers that we've got here made up of the bits. Right, so what did I tell you this? We did tell you an inch is three and a half by five. Let's not make my job harder. So I'm going to have it up and down in the orientation. So if the card is three and a half wide, that's three and a half. Then if I pull that back two eighths of an inch, no, two sixteenths of an inch back, so one eighth back. And then the same this way, that's the full five inches. Pull that back one eighth of an inch and then you'll have a wee white border around your paper. Whoops, that wasn't clever. Make that went a bit squint. No, it's all right. So that will go on here. It's awfully fresh and pretty, isn't it? So we'll bring in, so I think we've got, I'm going to just check the pack. I think it's Calypso Coral. Yes, it is Calypso Coral and Bumblebee. We'll bring them in beside our Night of Navy. So, Bumblebee Calypso Coral. So, again, just reflecting the palette that Stampin' Up! already picked for the paper saves you a lot of thinking. So, we'll see where we go with this one. Piece of Whisper White first. That's messed up, but I had a sheet, didn't I? Okay. So again, if the card is five by seven, let no, five by three and a half. I'm, don't usually talk inches, me. You see, right? So what if I go by this time three by four and a half for a panel to stamp on? Let's see what that looks like first. I'm making it up, but I'm trying to stay within proportion. I think that's too big, isn't it? You're not seeing enough of that beautiful paper 
Right, so let's just go smaller then. We take another. So that was four and a half. Let's just go to four. I want to see the nice paper as well. Four by two and a half. So that's a full inch smaller than the card base all the way around. Right. That's better. I like to see the paper underneath, don't you? That's going to be quite pretty. So we'll use we'll use the paper to guide. So we're going to have let's see what have we got. So we've this tiny flowers, and we've got a bigger flower. We've got this big flower. Let's see what happens with this one. And the two sizes of the leaves and our stem, we'll need that. And what will we have? Thanks so much. Will we stick with Hey Friend? No, we won't. Thanks so much, because thanks are, we need thanks a lot, don't we? I ask you and then I tell you, that's me all over, but never mind. Okay, so I actually think, I'm going to do the stem and leaves on the night of navy. I think I'll do my sentiment in Calypso Coil. Just making sure my stamp is clean and we pop the card and then put that to the side and then just, I'm going to pop this just in the corner here. Thanks so much. And then I'm going to take I should start with the leaves at the bottom then and work up. You could actually just do a card that is just using these leaves. Instead of guessing how the space under, the, you know, where to put the flower, if I work this way, do we want this flower further up? Yeah, I think we do. So I'm going to use this. And I'll probably mess it up again, but we'll can use the other leaves again. I'm not going to use the little leaves, I'm just going to use these again. Now they won't completely cover up the join, but they will distract from it. And then we'll do our bumblebee. Are you all okay? Are you hanging in there? Are you watching to see where I'm going to go? Because so am I. I have no idea. Hi Louise, and you come. Pinking that up and then just. I just love this set. It's just such fun and simple. It just lends itself to simple, simple stamping. What's not to like? 
and then again I'm just going to pop this through the night of navy pad to give it an edge you could I mean you could layer it up onto some night of navy card and look what I've done ink blots so we'll have to get some gems out won't we if you've got inky fingers and I've just done it again I've just got another finger in ink so I'm going to shut the pad wipe my fingers oh you're just nice smells and changing your waxes good on you girl okay so let's get this put together to be honest just that paper, bit of paper with a sentiment would be fine as well It's actually quite nice to craft without a real plan. Because you end up in places that you didn't think you would and you make things that you had no idea you could. Because it's just as you play that the design ideas start to flow. I've put ink on the back of the card too now, but then I have a sticker that goes on the back of my card, so that will be okay. So again, that is just going to stick on there. Now I can stick it flat so that it's easy for posting, or you could put it up on some dimensionals. Shall we do that? Well, we would if I knew where I put my dimensionals. Here we go. Just like magic, they're here. So, I have done a wee ink splodge, but every ink splodge is an embellishment opportunity in crafting. Just take the backs off. I put the one in the middle just to support it. Maybe good idea to put the flower the right way up. This paper's quite handy because it can help you to stay straight. Now, I do have some new embellishments around somewhere. Some that have not been open yet. This calls for something bigger, I think, but it's quite a big splodge. So let's just go with our genial gems because they blend in quite nicely. Oh, you're fussy cutting. Yeah, it's a lovely set, Louise. Um, Take one of the bigger ones and one with more gold flecks than the rest. Pop that one there, obviously. And then one down here. And then we'll bring another one up here to bring your eye to the outside of the card. And that's our second card. Do we need to decorate that envelope too? Yep, I guess I do. Started, so finish. Oh, you take care, Heather. Have a nice day at work. Well, the nice day you can have if you're at work. Right, okay, so where did I put the stamp? Here it is. So we'll just stick again with the bumblebee that match, and then I'll know which envelope goes with which card. Ooh! Did you see that? Oh no, it didn't really happen. Just play. Back of your envelope and then the front. Just to, I mean the stamp will probably go over this one anyway, but there you go. So there you go. So 
how are we doing with time for one more do you think i think so let's close the ink before we get more these um these what i'm using here is that i always buy my envelopes from stampin up because they're beautiful smooth paper you can't beat these envelopes they're worth every penny they're just gorgeous oh look at me So these are the note cards and envelopes which you'll find at the back of the annual catalogue. I've, I've got my sand rubber somewhere. I will rub that off. Let me see if this one will work. Might just be a bit of glue. I don't know. Just pretend that's not there. I do have a sand rubber and I will get that off in a wee while. Right. So there's two done and we'll go for one more. Hi, good morning Ruth, nice to see you. So what paper will we choose this time? Like the flirty flamingo, will we bring flirty flamingo in this time? Even just this one. I do like this sort of monochrome kind of look. Let's just pop this on the back of our card and see where we go. We'll bring um, Flirty Flamingo in because it's just lovely. I do like what I did here just with the Knight of Navy and the monochrome. So we'll just cut a layer. There's so many colours to choose from here but right so what did we say? It's three and a half wide and we'll just pull it back an eighth of an inch to get our layer. And five. And bring that back an eighth of an inch. And make another note card. In. You 20 in the pack. The order number, Louise, for this is 159232. 20 note cards and 20 envelopes. Absolutely fabulous. So, envelope card, paper, and I need something to stamp on. And what is this? This is the that was three. What did we say we would cut it? We'll just do another layer down at two and a half and four. Just similar, just the same composition as the other one, just a different, we'll just stamp differently. We'll get Flirty Flamingo out. these out of the way just now and what flower have we not used I don't know I think the is the big one too big let me see maybe not maybe not we can just fit it on so let's do it do it it's only a bit of paper if it goes wrong I can chuck it out and deny all knowledge let's see what happens we'll have a Flirty Flamingo and we'll bring in, we'll probably bring in Knight of Navy again, just because I like it. Yeah, we will and I will just edge the paper as well. So let's just see if we can get this in. We stamp it. I've forgotten my phone mat. So let's hope this is okay. Because I'm stamping on my grid paper pad it should be all right just might have a hair on my stamp that's great not but never mind just adds to the interest <laughs> another layer so ink it up and then turn it around now if you it's hard for me to get my head under while i'm filming but if you aim for them to meet that isn't too bad it's just a little bit of 
cross over there, it should be okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. You would think that that was a whole flower. Yep, now, I think if I bring this little flower in here and do that with an eye of navy to, in the middle, Still, are, we, are you still here? Is there anyone still? Here? Are you managing? Ugh, keep up here. I'm going to go slow this morning, I think. But it's just quite therapeutic, just playing. Look, think again. <laughs> Never were someone's fingers so well linked in one making three cards in one hour. I'm kind of aiming this up to the, it is much the same shape as there. Look. Cool. And a sentiment. They are beautiful to stamp with, yeah. I'm just going to go with, well, best day ever is too big for here, but I'm just going to go with you are perfectly unique. What a lovely sentiment. I'm definitely unique. I don't know about perfectly though. Right. And that will be upside down. You are perfectly unique. So all the products that you see me using today are available on my in my online shop at jazzledazzle.stampinup.net. And if you're interested in starting out card making get in touch and I'll help you to get sorted. Right, so all I'm going to do this, I'm just keeping it simple, the two colours, not adding anything else in there, just a wee flower head. Try and ink it up without putting splodges on this time. You could open a book to have a wee bit about whether I will or I won't. And then I'm going to do the same with the paper. I'm tilting it slightly forward so that it does pick up some of the Knight of Navy on the front. So it's just a wee simple way, still getting a sort of clean and simple card, but just giving it a bit of definition. I'm just making use of that lovely ink. Card. No, that's my envelope. Or will I, I'll stamp the envelope while I'm letting that ink dry a bit. Okay, so this time, again, just using the stamp that we used and my flirty flamingo ink. So by using these simple techniques, you can make a lot of cards in a short space of time. So let's just pop this. It's just lovely and I love flirty flamingo, it's a gorgeous colour. Just pop these. Look, that fits nicely in the corner there. Just popping one about here. There you go. A very decorated envelope. Putting all my bits out of the way. That's the envelope, and then we'll just assemble the card. And then we've got three simple cards that anyone could make. Let's fold that. I'll just fold it. Use your, if you have a bone folder, but a block. The back of your scissors. Just anything to just fern that the 
fibres down at the name. Yeah, right, so where did I put the designer series paper with the ink on it? Here it is. See, even in that way it would be nice too. It's just the papers, the hardest bit and the bit that takes the longest is deciding what you're going to use. And just stick it down with some wet glue, it gives you a bit of time to just do a bit of wiggle. And then we'll just pop this up with some dimensionals and we're done again. We dash on my desk that I try to um, aim these at, but I put them in the wrong bush. My goodness me. Now, this pretty little bowl, and I just try to put the backs of the dimensionals in it, and then it's easy to tip them into the bin when I'm done. So here we go. It's a bit squint. There's wee lines on this paper which are good to use to get straight. Okay, so we will add a bit of bling here. There is a wee bit of a bit of flirty flamingo floating about there. So we'll just keep with these these beautiful gems go with the any colours. They're the genial gems. I'm not sure where I'm putting in there. I'll put that one there. There we go. That's that one. So I think actually I might take that one carefully and move it up to there. Right. I just was more pleasing. It draws your eye more. So there's the envelope for that. So let's just clean up and let's have a wee look at what we've achieved this morning. Glue away. We've got a nice clean sheet. You can see the cards properly. So, the first card we did was this one. So, we've tried out the punch and we need a gem on there because, again, rather than wait to find my Rubber will just actually pop it there. Right, that's better. Splodgy's covered up, no harm done. Okay, so this one showing off our punch that goes that's in this bundle and the designer series paper. Sticking with a sort of monochromatic feel with this one. And we decorated the envelope with Knight of Navy. So that's the first one. And then we came in and we made a panel. We just put some designer series paper at the back. And we've not done anything in the middle except put a splodge, but we can sort that out with some designer series paper later. And we've decorated the envelope. So we've used Bumblebee, Knight of Navy and Calypso Coral in this one. And then this one. So this is quite good for making a series. You can make a series of note cards and pop them together in a wee box. I believe these fit perfectly in our mini paper pumpkin boxes, if they're still... I don't know if we still have them, but yeah, and this one with the flirty flamingo and so just bringing in Knight of Navy, so sort of, sort of two coloured affair here. So yeah, and over the top decorated envelopes. So let me know what, let's put them in order then. 
So that's one, two, and three. What is your preference out of these? Hey, let me know. Thank you. Hi, Andrea. Long time no see. Thanks for popping in. Thanks, Renee. That, I appreciate your comments. I appreciate everyone who comes and watches and who watches on the replay. And I'll probably pop this up on YouTube later. So, you know, you don't have to have a huge plan. Just play. And the pack of note cards, you've got 20 there to play with. So you could have a great time just stamping away. Just select a few colours of ink and go. Thanks very much, everyone, for coming along. It's slightly shorter Usually we're running over time. It's just slightly shorter today, but I appreciate everyone coming in. Thank you very much. And we'll see you all soon, hopefully next week again on Facebook. And I'll certainly be around on YouTube later. Bye bye.